There are so many reasons to be disgusted by private prison corporations. The executives who run them have gotten rich off locking people in cages. George Zoli, Geo Group CEO, pocketed 9.6 million last year alone. And they're helping Donald Trump follow through on his most racist promises. More than two thirds of immigrants detained by Immigration and Customs Enforcement known as ICE, are being held in facilities run by private, for-profit corporations. And finally, because they claim that they're real estate companies, Geo Group and its main competitor, CoreCivic, pay a lower tax rate than construction workers, teachers, and other working people. Last year, Geo Group dodged almost $44 million in taxes. But some people love them, and not just their shareholders and investors. Some candidates for public office have received substantial private prison money, especially Republicans, many of whom have pushed the misguided tough-on-crime policies that put far too too many Americans in prison and jail. The industry's campaign contributions are skyrocketing. Geo Group and CoreCivic poured record amounts of money into the 2018 election, more than three times as much as they had spent in any other midterm year. Zoli alone dropped more than $100,000 on the Florida gubernatorial campaign of Republican Ron DeSantis, who ran an ad of himself teaching his toddler daughter to build the wall. Why? Maybe he sees what's coming. Slowly, people are waking up to the undeniable fact that our massive criminal justice system is not only immoral and broken, but also rotten to its very core. Florida just restored the vote to over 1.4 million people with felony convictions. Even the likes of Newt Gingrich and the Koch brothers have said they support reform. And the industry is feeling the heat. Public school teachers recently pushed California's teacher retirement fund to divest more than $12 million from the private prison industry. And Core Civic and Geo Group are fighting back with all they've got. They donate money in exchange for influence with the hopes that it helps pad their bottom line. As in the public interest revealed, many of their government contracts contain occupancy guarantees, some as high as 100%. We concluded that this makes it harder to reduce prison populations while putting taxpayers on the hook for guaranteeing their profits. The math is simple. The more that politicians use racism to divide people who work for a living, the harder it becomes to end mass incarceration. And Core Civic and Geo Group are investing in making sure they keep getting a piece of the pie.